Do you have some old Windows Server Azure VMs that need upgraded to a newer OS? Well, you can do that directly in Azure. Check out how to do that on this MS Cloud Bros video. Hey, Jeremy Wallace here, Microsoft Certified Trainer and Azure Solutions Architect Expert. Right now, we're gonna take a look at doing an in-place upgrade for VMs running Windows Server in Azure. If we take a look at the Microsoft uh, documentation here, we can see currently supported is upgrading to Windows Server 2012, Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019, and Windows Server 2022. So the process for this is pretty straightforward. So first we're gonna take a snapshot of the, the VM, get the snapshot disk. Then we're gonna create our upgrade media as a, a managed disk. We're gonna attach that to the, the VM. Then we're gonna perform the in-place upgrade and then we're gonna clean all of that up. So let's dive right into it. All right, so I'm in my Azure portal and I'm at the virtual machine that I wanna upgrade. This one is just a, a management server that I use for accessing entered domain services, previously called Azure. Active Directory domain services. So uh, this one's running Windows Server 2019, as you can see. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a snapshot of this, and then we're going to create our upgrade media. So to take a snapshot, it's easy to simply go to the disk, open up that OS disk, and then you're going to create a snapshot. So we're gonna do the snapshot name, it's gonna do MGM disk, OS disk, snap one, uh, incremental, leave all that the same for now, and I'm going to create that. progress. All right, snapshot's done. So next I actually want to create the upgrade media that we're going to use to attach to the VM to perform the, the in-place upgrade. And to do that, there's a PowerShell script that we can run. If we go to the Microsoft documentation, we can actually pull a template of that script directly from here. So I'm going to hit copy, and then I'm going to head back over to the, the Azure portal, and I'm just going to run the Cloud Shell. So Cloud Shell is very useful. You could paste this into PowerShell ISE, but we're gonna use the editor that's built into uh, Cloud Shell. So if you take a look in the new Cloud Shell UI and hit editor, it's gonna say that it's not available for the current user experience and so that you need to go back to the classic one. So I'm going to uh, select that and then I'm going to hit the open editor button here. This gets us into the classic editor view and I'm going to paste in that script. So now I have the script as given to me from the documentation. The defaults in here actually do apply to my specific situation because I am using West US2 for this VM and I want to move to Windows Server 2022. So the disk name that's going to create is appropriate and the SKU that it lists here by default is appropriate for me, Server 2022 upgrade. However, if you are going to a different version, such as you wanted to go from 2020 or 2012 to 2016, then it makes notes in here of the other SKU names that you can paste into that SKU value. So do pay attention to that in the script. To talk a little bit about what's going on, you can see in the notes here that this actually goes and gets the latest version of a special hidden VM image in the Azure Marketplace. And then it creates an image from that and creates a managed disk from that. And then we're gonna attach that managed disk to the VM that we're upgrading. So pretty neat. So I'm gonna right click this, I'm gonna hit save and make sure when you're saving this file that you specify that it is a PowerShell file. So I'm gonna do 2022 upgrade media.ps1. I did a first attempt at this video and I messed up on the, the extension name. So make sure you have that PS1 on the end. So I'm gonna hit save. And so now if I look at my editor here and I do DIR, now I can see I have 
my 2022 upgrade media in this directory. You can see my other attempts here to get that file in there messed up. So now we're going to call this script. So I'm going to type in here. 2022 upgrade, 2020, ah, 2022 upgrade media.ps1. And then after that's ran successfully, I should be able to search for that managed disk. So I'm going to go up to my search bar, search for disks. And then we should be able to find a disk appropriately named Windows Server 2022 upgrade disk for our particular situation. So now I need to attach this managed disk to the VM that we're going to upgrade. All right, so I'm back on my virtual machine. I'm going to go to disk and then I'm going to attach a new disk. And the new disk that I'm going to attach is, that is not what, discard changes. <laughs> I'm going to attach an existing disk, there we go. And then I'm going to select uh, the disk that we just created as an upgrade media. Uh, so we see here, Windows Server 2022 upgrade disk, that's the one I'm gonna select. And I'm going to apply changes. All right, then we can see from the documentation, I need to uh, remote into my VM. So it suggests RDP or RDP Bastion. I actually have Screen Connect to it installed so i'm going to log into this virtual machine all right i'm on my vm now and so if i open up here we can see that there is a attached media upgrade e drive we can see windows server 2022 folder in there so i'm going to want to navigate to that so i'm going to copy that and let's go over to powershell run that as an administrator. Now let's just run a change directory and we're gonna go to um, folder location. And in the documentation, they do provide us with the um, PowerShell command line that we can run here. So I'm gonna paste that in. So that's setup.exe slash auto upgrade slash dynamic update disable. Ran that. All right, now we want to select the desired experience. Now, remember, if you don't want just a command line interface, you need to choose a desktop type experience. So I'm going to do Windows Server 2022 Data Center Desktop Enterprise. Let me just check what we currently have on here. Yeah, Windows Server 2019 Data Center. So here is Windows Server 2022 Data Center Desktop Experience. Next. All right, now we see that the upgrade is well underway. Installing Windows Server. So this is gonna go through that upgrade path and then so we'll check on it after it's done. And just checking in on here, we see that the updates the upgrade's almost done. It's just working on updates, 99%. So should. All right, looks like it's done here. So we're just gonna log in to bring find that everything looks good. I'm looking to use server manager here. Should be able to verify. Local server. Let's see where we're at. Top Windows Server 2022 data center. Perfect. So we got what we need there. So the only items left to do are to clean things up. So we're going to want to disconnect the disk. So we're back in here. 
want to remove this disk patch. Apply. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's done there. So I'm going to do exactly that. Disk, disk, Windows Server 2022, upgrade disk. And perfect, I'm going to delete that disk. Yep, again, that's all that's necessary. So again, you're you're creating an, an upgrade disk. You're taking a snapshot, you're creating the, the media, the managed disk uh, that has the upgrade uh, software on it, attaching it to your VM, running that in-place upgrade on it. Then you detach that disk and then delete those extra resources, that snapshot, and you're good to go.